Today, Kevin and I wanted to make a favorites for the month of July for you. We have never made a video like this together. I've made favorites videos showing like everything, like cleaning products and uh, beauty things and stuff like that. But this is just going to be food, our likes and dislikes during the month of July. These things didn't necessarily come out in July. These are just things that we were eating during July that we really liked. So first we're going to give you, there were only two dislikes uh, for the month. Things that we really, really didn't like. And so we're going to get those over with first. There, sh there may have been items that were like, eh. You okay, know, but these are things that we really did like not like. Wouldn't eat again. No. Ever. Uh, mine is the Pure Growth Organic Oatmeal Bites. These had like a funky, chemically flavor to them. Uh, they were not good at all. These the are the chocolate, ones, yeah. the chocolate chip. The other two flavors, if I remember correctly, weren't were bad, okay, but, right? But that one, yeah, in particular this one was, in particular, I would not get that again. So that was a dislike. Yeah, and mine is the Great Value Snack Bites. This is mango. And if I remember correctly, this tasted like rotten fruit. It was awful. <laughs> Neither one of us liked it. And it's a good idea. And we like some of the other flavors. Oh yeah, but all the other snack bites. But the mango were good. ones, particular, no. Um, actually, <laughs> an hour later, I belched and mango, it and mango. it was it, bad. It tasted like a, a, a citrusy, a bad citrus fruit. Yeah. I remember. And those were expensive, so yeah, yeah please, they were yeah, good. don't get those. I mean, if you get them. Let us know, is that the way it's supposed to taste? Or did you like them? <laughs> yeah, did you like them? Okay, so you want me to show something or Go you? For it. Okay, I uh, really liked these uh, Popwell Half Popcorn. Uh, we bought the Cheddar variety as well, but those were just okay, and I did not eat any more of those after the review. I actually gave those away. These I kept and finish the bags. This is the Chipotle barbecue and the sea salt. The sea salt had so much flavor. It was just really, really good. They were really good. I would definitely get these again. We bought them at Kroger. I, I don't recall seeing them anywhere else. They're a little pricey, but they're very, very good. Really good snack. Mm -hmm. So both of those. They're good. And they remind you of a corn that a little bit softer. Right. Um, I'm gonna talk about this lunch meat. It's the uh, Hormel um, Natural Choice, the Applewood Smoked Deli Turkey. Uh, the reason I really like this is if you buy, what is it the brand we usually buy? Oscar Mayer? Or Fishers? No, it's, I think it's Oscar Mayer. Anyway, it's in the plastic, like uh, uh, resealable, like oh, plastic yeah, thing. Oh yeah, that's Oscar Mayer. That's Oscar Mayer. Um, it, the turkey tastes really good for the first day or two. After that, it gets, the taste is okay, but it gets a slimy, like a film on it. It really does. Yeah. And Ashley's always been like, I can't eat that slimy. This, um, I had and ate a whole package of it, loved it, never got slimy. And I bought it the second time and it didn't get, I did I only ate it for like a day or two and then I it waited for like three or four days mm -hmm. and then I ate some more and it was never slimy. It was always really, really good. So the turkey was my favorite. The ham was good, but it wasn't as good as the turkey. The turkey was the best. So, so if you get these, try it out. It's supposed to be like lunch meat. Okay, and then I wanna show you the Mrs. Thinster's Cookie Thins. These are coconut those chips. Are excellent. And they also have a key lime pie, and those were excellent. We no. just forgot to save the package from them. No. Uh, they, I think I like the key lime pie better than the coconut. These did not last long at all, mm. and they are a little pricey, but they, they were so good. They were really good, so crunchy yeah. and crispy, yes. they're really good. Excellent cookies, either one of those. Um, the Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake at Home, uh, these were excellent. They they weren't too awfully hard to make. I mean, there were some steps there, and you had to buy uh, cream cheese and stuff like that, but right. they, they weren't too awfully bad. Uh, they have three different flavors, the regular and then like- Strawberry and caramel. Strawberry and caramel. The caramel, the mixes were basically the same. The caramel mix was a little bit different, but the flavor of the mixes was the same. The only difference was the topping you put on them. So if you don't want those toppings, you're fine just buying those. But these are really, really good. Um, I still, I mean, they're better quality than like the Jello ones, of course, the instant ones, but they're a little more trouble to make too. Right. Um, me, I'm I'm low key. I like those Jello instant ones. Just just about well, these you have but, to bake. And yeah, those but these I mean, these are excellent. So if you want, if you see these in your area and you want, and you like cheesecake, try this the plain one. I think you'll like it. And you can even get some jam, like mm -hmm. strawberry jam or something, and put on top oh, of could, it and be fine. You could do or ice cream topping. Buy ice cream topping. Yeah, whatever yeah. is for ice cream and put that on top of that chocolate caramel strawberry whatever you could do all kinds um, of things. It, that would add to the flavor of that too it's really good 
Okay, now I want to show you these. If you watch my hauls, you'll see that I, I buy these a lot. Uh, <coughs> these are the uh, Nature Valley Biscuits with coconut butter. I love these. I love these and I love the peanut butter ones. The peanut butter ones, I've said it before, are like giant nutter butter cookies. That's what these are. These are, they're, they're calling them biscuits, biscuits in England. That, that they are cookies. So you're eating a giant cookie. But I love them. The coconut butter, it just has a great flavor. Um, I remember those. I haven't eaten them since then, but I remember them. They were love really good. Love them. Very so. sweet. Uh, these are the uh, the Quaker Chewy Girl Scout Peanut Butter Delight cookies. I mean, uh, bars. Um, I remember them being really, really good, and, and I was liking them a lot. Do I remember the exact flavor right off the top of my head now? No. They have a <laughs> really good, was. yeah. They have a really good peanut butter flavor, and I'm thinking, aren't they low calorie? Yeah, they're only 100, 100 calories. calories. Yeah. Um, I need to actually, I need to put those on my grocery list and buy more of those because I like to keep a low calorie bar in the cabinet. And right now, I don't have, right now, I have my lowest bar is like 170 calories. So if I want something like a little snack, then it's nice to have something in the cabinet and that would be mm -hmm. great. Those just, the peanut butter, you can really taste the peanut butter and it's a really good, sweet peanut butter. It was, so, they were good. I remember them being really, really good. Um, and then I want to show you these. <laughs> um, Morgan and uh, Chris sent these to us from Canada. Uh, they are Italian cookies. These are the coconut. We actually bought others. I don't think, I don't know if the video, I don't think the video's come out yet. I know it hasn't come out yet because I don't think I've made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think it's come out yet. Um, anyway, these are excellent, excellent cookies. They have other varieties at Big Lots. They did our Big Lots at least. Yeah, they did at our Big Lots. They had a lemon and they had another one. Chocolate? It was so that delicious. Like it was a chocolate. Well, this is the chocolate with coconut. No, I'm thinking the other one was the chocolate with chocolate. One. Like a cocoa. Like yeah, it a, seems like. It seems like. I don't remember. For absolutely sure. love them. And yeah, they're, they're dangerous really to have in the house. The filled ones are really good. Now, the, the regular cookies weren't as good. Yeah, you have to get the ones that look like this yeah, that filled. are filled. And they are terrific. Yeah, the other ones are just kind of plain. They're kind of dry. But I, I love these. And I, I would look for this brand at... Home Goods, Tuesday morning, uh, but Big Lots has a lot of them, so these were excellent. Uh, these go together, kind of. These are the um, Coconut Patties. Is that, what's the company name? It's uh, Anastasia, uh, Anastasia Confections. Okay. Yeah, Anastasia, I see it. Uh, this one is the Mango, which was actually really good, and that was the rum. Rum. Yeah, the rum was our favorite. Um, I, I really ate like all the, of them first. And I, I think I ended up eating these. Um, they're both really good. And the mango, I'm not usually a fan of mango, but both these were super no, good. Because like we just talked about the mango and these being horrific. Yeah, those tasted like something bad. These this are really good and sweet. This was really good and sweet. Uh, the coconut, it reminds you of one of those little um, pink, white, and, and chocolate bars, the brown bars that, that have the coconut. They remind you of that with, with chocolate on the bottom of them. I would definitely buy these again. We bought these at Tuesday morning. Yeah. Uh, they were five dollars, but I would buy them again. Yeah, I would too. I'd probably buy those over these, but but I like I like both. They were absolutely. Yeah, they were both delicious. really really good. Um, and then um, the last thing I have one more thing to show you, and then I want to talk about one more th uh, one thing. Uh, these are the Keebler Fudge Stripes Dark Chocolate Mint. Really good. They're awesome. Kevin and I are not dark chocolate people, and we love these, and we uh, we ate these up. <laughs> they were. Still no, no, I was hoping gone. they would. A little. Yeah. Um, they were so incredibly good. Yeah, they were really Such good, good cookies. cookies. Uh, please don't let the dark chocolate throw you off. They're very, very, very good mint cookies. Mm -hmm. And I don't even like mint all the time. But these were good, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, I forgot to bring it in here, and it's okay. It's ice cream. Kevin has been loving this month. His favorite is the Salted Gold. Simple Truth. It's the Simple Truth Low Cow. Salted Gold. Yeah. C O W. Yeah, Low Cow. Yeah. Um, Salted Gold. So, 
and it's really really good it has a ribbon of caramel in there you have to stick it in the microwave for like 20 seconds to soften it up but but after you do that it's excellent i love it yeah it, that and the birthday cake i like both of those really really good because i like a really vanilla kind of ice cream i'm not really a chocolate fan but vanilla i love vanilla so the birthday is just like souped up vanilla right so, and it has pieces in it it has a little uh uh, confetti pieces in it too, yeah. like little candy pieces. Both of those are excellent. Yeah, and just know that Kevin is not a fan of Halo Top. I mean, he likes some of the Halo Top, but he's not like their number one fan like I was. Yeah. And uh, well, I still like it. I really do. But um, the simple truth is just really good. It's really, and it's still always cheaper. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> so, um, a lot of you all had requested this video. I hope this is what you wanted. Like, you, some people had talked about waiting the entire year and having a wrap up, and that's that, Goodness that, that would be it's too I much. I better remember stuff we tried a week ago. Yeah, it's too much. Months ago. Because we try so much. So, <laughs> I figure we can try this month by month if you like it. If you did like the video, please let us know in the comments below. If you were like, eh, it was okay, but you don't have to do it because if you watch the video, we already know what you like and what you don't like. That's okay, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you have not subscribed, and uh, please subscribe. If this is your first video that you're watching from this channel, mm -hmm. we would love to have you subscribe. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and we'll catch you next time.